Okay, so I'm here today to discuss something very, very interesting. Okay, a lot of us will love it and a lot of us are going to frown and say things like, she's only saying this because life is good to her. <laughs> I get to hear a lot of that and it cracks me up, you know. It cracks me up when someone insinuates that I'm lucky, I am so blessed, I cannot relate to the things that the everyday people feel. That's so, so funny. That's because <laughs> if I start to share my tons of experiences as a young person, you'll be marveled. Okay, hello there. My name is Marilyn Omanona Usa Bonando. And what I want to talk about briefly is the issue of spiritual husband and spiritual wife. Yes, spiritual spouse. Okay, I am Nigerian and I'm from Anambra State. Don't marry to a Delta State man, Asaba. So um, what I want to share, what I want to talk about is something I have heard for the longest time. As a matter of fact, when I was still single, a lot of men of God, you know, insinuated that I have a spiritual husband. <laughs> and that's why I was having delays in as regards, you know, getting married. And even while facing such a situation, such a circumstance, whatever you might want to target, I never believed it. The concept of spiritual husband, spiritual wife doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't make any logical sense to me, you know. And now as someone who has a private practice of counseling, therapy, coaching, and all of that, every day I get to meet lots of people with various issues. And lately this has been coming up because of the series of you know, relationship sessions that I have organized. And sometimes when you tell these ladies, it's mostly the women though, that this is not a problem with you. This is not the issue with you, okay? Just relax, make sure you do the right things, be of good conduct, and everything will fall in place when it is time, okay? They don't listen to you. So something happened lately and it's about a certain lady. You know, she's always coming to me. She wants to attend my sessions. And for every time she's attended my session, she has told me, hey, Oma, I don't have money. Things are not moving well for me. And as someone with lots of empathy, I think on one occasion, I even allowed her into the session free of charge. And as I speak to you, she has never paid more than 2,000 Naira for my session, you know. And she wants to book a private session, but you know, no funds. And I'm very big on not having my services free these days. And I said to her, I will not do a free private session for you. No, I won't. Okay. Keep attending the group sessions and keep practicing everything that we study and learn there. And so after the Christmas, you know, everyone got back to work and then she came to me one day and she was in such it was it was a des she was so desperate to get to talk to me you know and i said chill i'll talk to you i'm somewhere okay and when i'm done i will i will I'll talk to you and at the end of the day i found out time to speak with her and then she said to me that she went for spiritual work you know and long and short she lost the sum of 500,000 naira because she went to do spiritual work at first, I got very angry because this is someone who comes to me begging for free sessions. And then I asked her, so you took a whole 500,000 Naira to some spiritualist, a pastor, whatever title they may have. And now, why do you think you've been scammed? Because she said she's been scammed, you know. She said the man told her eh, before Christmas ends, XYZ is coming to pay her bride price. This, that, that is going to happen. Christmas has ended and she's been calling the man. The man is not taking his calls. The man sent him a message saying, your faith is not big enough. This, that, that, that. The spiritual husband is still holding you down. This, that, that, that. <laughs> what a joke. Before I go on, let me share something with you. Because right now the economy is biting hard. 
okay and while we're trying to sort all the other issues in our lives we need to think of ways to make money okay so i want to share something quickly with you if you live in the united kingdom if you're a nigerian living in the united kingdom the united states of america canada australia united arab emirates i mean anywhere in diaspora this is something very interesting for you okay See, the economy is messed up globally, okay? And you don't want to spend all of your time, I mean, all of your time running shifts. You don't want to keep living paycheck to paycheck. We're all constantly looking for ways to better our lives. Let's, let's face it, okay? So, if you live in any of these countries and you're looking for ways to make legitimate, cool cash for yourself by the side, then look on the screen, okay? That's the website you should be visiting right now. And next, this is a number you should be contacting, okay? You can make as much as $7,000 as a beginner. Aha, uh -huh. so let me continue with my story. And she was just going, you know, she was broken. I mean, 500,000 Naira. You know, she said she even borrowed some of them. And I said to her, I don't, I don't sympathize with you because I have been saying these things in my sessions, but you don't listen. Now it has happened, you know, and if care is not taken, it will happen again because you've been brainwashed and you're now desperate. You think something is wrong with you. And I said to her, nothing is wrong with you. If you're not yet married, it is simply because it's not yet your time or because you've not met the right one for you. Because even crazy people on the roads, they get married. People find, as long as you're a human being who is alive and breathing, somebody must find you appealing, except you're in the wrong environment. Except, I always try to analyze these things in my sessions. She broke down, she was crying. Some people come to me, they say to me, one lady said to me that they said the, the pastor told her that the reason she's not yet married because she has spiritual body odor. And she's been going around with this kind of belief. It's affected her mindset. It's affected her, her, her self-esteem. She feels so badly about herself. And I said to her, because of the way you think about yourself, there is no man you will meet today that, would, that no relationship will work because you're going to keep acting strange based on your belief about yourself. So darling, there is nothing like spiritual husband. I don't know where you've gone to. I don't know what they've told you. I know they, they're fond of telling us using this line, life is more spiritual than physical. Whatever your belief is, I just want to tell you that you don't have a spiritual husband. You don't have a spiritual wife. There is nothing like that. And I'm not missing words when I'm saying it. I am saying it because I know that there is nothing like spiritual husband and spiritual wife. It's even a, contra it's a contradiction. It's even so annoying that as a child of God, you believe that such a thing would have effect on your life. Yet you pray daily. You attend crusades. Anywhere they ring bell that it's a church, you're there. Yet you believe that a spiritual husband, spiritual wife, ancestral God, they, whatever it is, is after your life. And that's the reason you're not married. That is not true. If you want to know more about the reasons why you're not yet married or why it hasn't happened yet and what can be done, darling,